Let's take a look at one CNC snap types. What's a snap type? Well, when creating geometry, snap types help you locate the geometry. Let me demonstrate. Let's say we're going to create some geometry that represents some bolts. Okay, so we're going to head over to the main toolbar. We'll select shapes and then polygon. Now down here, these are the five different snap types. The first snap type that's already selected by default allows us to select geometry, grid points, and arc centers. Let's demonstrate. I can snap the end point of the line the midpoint of the line. We can snap arc centers and we can snap points and if we want to we can also grid point snap just like that. Okay so that's the first snap type and that's always turned on by default. Let's undo those shapes there. Let's go back into polygon. Let's take a look at the next snap type. The next snap type only allows us to select geometry. We can no longer grid point snap. So if I move my cursor up here to the bottom to the left or to the right all we can do is select geometry. Okay, let's undo those shapes. Let's take a look at the next snap type. We'll go back into polygon. Here's the next snap type. This only allows you to snap grid points. So I can no longer snap geometry. The location or the snapping is now locked into grid points only. Let's undo that. Now the next snap type is arc centers. So if we select that, we can only now snap arc centers only just like that. Very simple. Let's undo those and let's take a look at the last snap type. The last snap type allows you to place the geometry exactly where your cursor is. It ignores the grid points, it ignores arc centers, and it ignores all the other geometry. So I can freely move the cursor around and I can just by eye locate where I want to put that geometry and left click and easily create. Snap points are a very beneficial and versatile feature provided by one CNC. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.